Tell you what, Robin Lee, so the city of Sochi is actually about 45 minutes north of where we are here at the Olympic Park in Adler. And before I came out here to Russia, it was recommended that I not venture into that city because of security concerns. Well, apparently I don't listen very well and decided to go anyway. There is one road into Sochi, about a 20 mile trek along the Black Sea from the Olympic Coastal Cluster. I expected to find a city under lockdown, more fences and endless security checks, a dreary town on the water. I couldn't have been more wrong. All eyes are on this region right now because of the Olympics and the constant threat of terrorism, but despite those things, life goes on in the city of Sochi. It is billed as the Russian Riviera, a vibrant, bustling city. New buildings reaching to the sky are everywhere. Big business is cashing in. Russia's president determined to make Sochi a playland for the rich. It's not a stereotypical Russian town because it's so different. And I think it's amazing how many cultures can fit in Sochi. I think it's fabulous. There is clearly a large security force here, and during my visit, I was never concerned about my safety, and I wasn't alone. Yeah, you see uh, police guys and uh, military everywhere. You can be safer, I think. Others are more concerned with so much progress here. A lot of big building is not good. It's not typical for Sochi. A lot of, uh, I think, security is also not typical for Sochi. And uh, traffic is also not good. Good or bad, the wheels keep turning in Sochi, and the welcome mat is out. Russia's President Vladimir Putin has big plans for his favorite Russian tourist destination, and Sochi is well on its way to becoming an international tourist destination. Rob, Lisa? Boy, certainly beautiful. We can see the palm trees there. Gorgeous. Good stuff. Thanks, Jordan.